what is up guys rich here and uh welcome to a different style of video uh you know i don't really express enough about the 30k project you know and honestly i thought this would be the perfect chance to do it i haven't been posting on instagram or snapchat um been focused on youtube completely um also for the people who are questioning about the 8 a.m in charlotte edit i'm trying to get that reworked um hopefully it doesn't get blocked obviously Drake and his labels and all that so honestly in regards to I guess the mindset or the ideology of the project itself um you know truthfully like I didn't even decide the cover art until about mid-September um mainly it was kind of a it, it's kind of a funny story like I put a poll up on my uh Instagram because some people saw the original artwork, obviously the Destiny montage type hunter, gun, golden gun type style. Um, I put that up and honestly, people liked it. It was cool, but it didn't feel personal enough. It didn't kind of show like the growth of, of myself or, you know, like everything I've gone through, not only this year, but in my whole YouTube journey. And so, you know, scrolling through old photos and stuff like that, I actually found, um, graduation photos and uh like i posted them like so yeah time like saying time flies or something like that i posted on instagram and when i tell you that people were like yo is this like it's like this is oh my god look at you like is this what you're using or is this the artwork and stuff like that because i did like kind of say oh yeah like i'm gonna promote the artwork but i guess people didn't really i didn't really finalize it yet and uh people loved it and so honestly i was like okay crap let's let's do a kind of a 180 um let's go ahead and you know use my graduation pictures and because i don't really have a lot of high school memories um when it comes to like i used to have some but i kind of you know have a new snap you know my old snap kind of long story um the real ones no <laughs> um but no so honestly like it's kind of cool it's kind of surreal to have those photos to kind of be the you know the front or the kind of like the the forward cover of this project um you know it's exciting i i've worked really hard on this um a lot of people are so they ask about the motivation behind it i didn't really think i was going to do a full length project with multiple edits like this um you know i guess the idea stemmed from a lot of people liking the 30k and counting edit um with jack harlow the Denver song a lot of people liked it and got a lot of good feedback you know people reach out to me personally so um they're like they're like man you should make more and I was like and I and you know the the Denver edit was pretty good and that was actually going to be the 30k original edit just like by itself but then you know I kind of I kind of decided you know like why not let's try it out let's uh put some test edits on there we I saw some you know I posted some highlights to some kind of like sneak peeks just of me like what's in my vault like obviously not what was going to be posted and people liked it um then there was a video called 100 lives uh that did well and then it got blocked <laughs> um yeah again if i think it was the original cut to the remorse that drake was going to use for certified lover boy um but it, it wasn't used and then I guess it got blocked. It was the original Drake verse. Like there's an OG verse. I'm sure you can find it on YouTube because I found it on YouTube or someone shared it to me. Um, shout out to, uh, his name was uh, Quincy. Shout out to Quincy. But no, so, you know, honestly, from, from the Jack Harlow kind of edit, it kind of propelled into this like idea, like, hey, let's make this a project. You know, let's let's forward it. Let's promote it. Let's put some artwork around it. And that's kind of how it took off. Like, honestly, it's a big deal. Um, people kind of are wondering what it represents in regards to, like, myself. Um, obviously, I guess my relationship, you know, ended in March. But it used the two most important dates in my life used to be, obviously, her birthday, which was the day I announced the montage like and, and the date that it would drop and then christmas i think that was when i i asked my ex to be my girlfriend so those kind of dates has you know been important for me 
at least for two, three years. Not saying they're not a play. It is what it is, but that's just life. You move on. But I kind of wanted to synergize and promote the montage kind of around the growth, you know, the struggles through the relationship, um, the emotional kind of up and downs. And not to mention, like, you know, there was a huge nine month hiatus from YouTube, right? So there's a lot of emotion to cap, you know, encapsulate in that. And then along with emotion, you know, and obviously the sexual assault experience from January in this year. Um, so it kind of just ended up being a build up, right? Like, and to clarify, I was the victim. Just, I don't know if people knew that, but, um, well, some people knew because they, they read the description. Oh, well, a lot of people knew. Um, but no, so, you know, it's just kind of a build up kind of like an expressing emotions and I'm I'm an emotional person but I don't really I'm not really vulnerable that much um maybe this year this is the most vulnerable I've ever been in my life but you know honestly I express it in different ways um I'm I'm a straightforward person but I'm also introverted and I'm also very you know I'm kind of just I pass up on most social activities or, or reasons to be like just outgoing and social and so if somebody does something that rubs me the wrong way or kind of hurts me or kind of I mean I wouldn't say hurt but just affects me right I kind of can portray it in the song choice that I use along you know with the edits uh you know the the font and the you know the filter and the effects of the edits itself kind of set the mood kind of you see some montages are a little darker a little more aggressive tone like scary hour uh what was it four or scary hour five i can't remember there's so many um but it kind of set the mood you know like meltdown like darker you know drake's pit drake's voice on the song stuff like that so that kind of helps set the mood for sure um so this is just another instance where we're just kind of i would say that it's growth and we're showcasing that growth right kind of throughout not only like this year, obviously, and what I've been through, but also just throughout, you know, whether it's my, you know, feelings throughout the relationship, feelings towards it, um, as you saw in the prelude, uh, <laughs> and uh, also feelings before, you know, I, I lost a great friend, you know, he was a huge part of my life, we know that, I lost a great friend in 2019, his name was Tyree Greaves, um, and I guess from that moment, I've haven't been the same person that I've been so um part of it is also dedicated to him because he was the one of the first people who got me out of my shell and told me like what am I scared of and basically it was like like what are you scared of like go do it go be great go record go sit down go commentate go make the channel um so that uh that, that that always means a lot and I always think of him everything I do when it comes to YouTube he's always a thought that crosses my mind I and I talk to his brother as well and I always just I just hope I'm making him proud um man um so sorry I got a little too deep there um but no so that's just kind of basically where the mindset of the montage is um there's a couple songs on here like I said from big artists and not and to clarify, not all songs are going to be 100% accurate on how they represent exactly how I'm feeling, right? See, that's the thing. You know, you, you make different edits or different montages on kind of like how the mood setting. It doesn't always have to be lyric for lyric that relates. Now, there are some songs that relate 100% lyric for lyric, and I'm not going to tell you which ones. That's for you guys to figure out and for you guys to assume and guess and all that, right? But, you know, so there's some songs that are just have the mood of carrying forward that, you know, that I want to keep or that I want to set for this montage. And then maybe there's a different mood I want to set for that montage. Um, there will be a rock song in there. I love rock. I've talked about loving rock. It's not going to be from a local group around here in North Carolina because... <sighs> I wanted it to be, okay, I wanted it to be 723, or I wanted it to be, you know, um, there's, there's a couple other, but I just, 
I needed to there was one that I haven't used that was supposed to be used about three four years ago but got cut and scrapped and so I I had to put it in I, I was like nope I can't do it I have to make sure this gets in here and I just I love it, it it's, it's great I even started it uh, I think I started it uh, watching the Destiny event and then it just kicks the, it just I don't know what it did it just made me like, oh, I was like oh crap I need to really actually like oh let me actually go like finish this edit and so um, by the way Final Shape coming out I think it's February 27th I don't know who knows anyway um <laughs> Shout out to Destiny. Uh, basically, my whole channel has been about Destiny and Fortnite. So, um, but no. So honestly, there are going to be some songs that do represent, um, you know, kind of the exact mood that I'm feeling, or kind of the emotion that I'm describing that someone has put me through. Um, because again, you know, I, there's been a few, you know, instances where I thought maybe I wanted something, um, you know, after. You know my ex um but i don't know you know life isn't <sighs> life is precious and i know that you don't take anything for granted but it's like i feel like people take me for granted all the time and i i've always felt like i'm overlooked and that doesn't just mean by people that means by just like you know in general i just always felt like i've been the underdog or the lone you know the lone wolf as a term that you know the ogs know so Honestly, man, I'm just excited to provide this for you. I, I can't wait till December 25th. I'm going... There will be two more edits that are a part of the official montage that will be dropping. And then there's also going to be just edits. um, Basically, like, s stuff in the vault that I haven't really released. And I'm just going to, you know, put it all together. Probably keep the content flowing. Um, I may not even get to Spider-Man until the new year. I know people are depressed and when I, you know, when they when I say that, but um I have a lot to focus on. I have a lot to promote. Um truthfully, right? And so I just wanted to make sure that this is this is the 100% main focus of my channel. Um and it's going to be that way until December 25th. So, um I hope you guys enjoyed. Um Thank you guys for all the support on my cousin's song as well. Um, I know I, she hasn't even, I don't even think she notices. I have to call her and ask her how like, you know, streams and stuff are going. But um, yeah, I hope you guys, in, I, I really hope you guys enjoyed that edit because um, it wasn't supposed to be long. It was supposed to be kind of like an interlude type style. Um, there's going to be another interlude uh, by, you know, my cousin, one and only, uh, Copat. I love him. Um, but yeah, no, honestly... I'm excited and I just cannot wait to showcase what I've been working on these last five months. So <sighs> see you guys in December, man. Oh my goodness. I'm so excited. This will be the last time you probably hear me talking, by the way. Um, I might make one video before, right before the edit drops, but, or the edits, plural drops, but, um, no, honestly, I mean, no. Nah. Um, also this might be the only monetized video on the channel for the last three months of the year so um yeah it's been your boy rich man and i'll see you guys in the next one peace out